Hello, I'm Nathan Pine Carter, CEO of Ace Aquatech, and I'd like to introduce you to our transformative solutions to the problem of seal predation. But first, a few thoughts on why aquaculture is relevant and why the problem is set to grow. According to the UN, we can expect to be rubbing shoulders with over 8.5 billion other humans by the year 2030. That is a lot of mouths to feed. And right now, according to the State of World Fisheries and Aquaculture Report 2020, the main source of our protein is fish. And where does the fish come from? Well, the same report shows us that it used to come from wild catch, but in the last 40 years, this is split between wild catch and aquaculture. And the trend will continue to see ocean fishing diminish and farm fish increase in our diets. And this momentum will continue to grow because of key macro trends, population growth, the focus on improved health, growing exploitation of natural resources, a ballooning middle class with disposable income, an increasingly older population, and pressure to be sustainable and resource efficient. On that last point and relevant to COP26, fish has the lowest carbon footprint, water consumption, and feed conversion ratio of any of our farmed animals. So if we can agree aquaculture will increase, then so too will the problems aquaculture faces in the natural environment. One of the most significant of these being predation by predators. Several trends have contributed to make predation one of the most significant issues in salmon farming regions. A greater focus on environmentally responsible solutions to predation has caused some of the tools to be removed. Shooting licenses have been removed in Scotland and continuous noise makers or harassment devices have either been willingly removed or regulated out of use. So what is the scale of the problem? Firstly, we must accept that predation of seals and sea lions on farmed fish does not just cost a farmer in dead fish. Reputation and the expansion of fish farming can be severely impacted by fish escapes due to seal attacks. Stress is by far the most costly impact of predation. Circling seals can put fish off their feed for weeks, negatively impacting growth, making them more susceptible to disease and lice, and causing the feed to pollute the local environment. But leaving aside these significant indirect costs, a cursory look at the direct cost of seal attacks on dead fish gives us an insight into the scale of the problem. Last year, the cost to the UK from predation on fish mortality was put at 16 million by the SSPO. And in Chile, the cost is around 19 million annually. So far, there are no perfect solutions. Double layer predator nets have been successful in reducing direct strikes, but the seals show increased hounding behaviors Eventually the fish grow tired and are sucked through the nets. And there's an increased risk of birds and seals becoming trapped and restrictions on water flow increases the risk of disease or low oxygen levels. Even reinforced nets do not avoid the persistent stress around nets leading to exhausted fish. And traditional acoustic barrier systems have been shown in studies to impact non-target species such as porpoises or even lead to deafness in the animals they are seeking to deter. So where has ACE been able to find a solution? Fortunately, nature has provided us with the answer. All mammals are wired with a primitive flight response to danger. If we can create systems that elicit that response, we can break the cycle of predation on fish farm pens and create a learned avoidance behavior through conditioning. The mechanism we exploit is called the startled response. And we use targeted electric, ESR, and acoustic, ASR, signals to stop predation in its tracks. At its simplest, the acoustic startle reflex is an involuntary muscle reflex that occurs in response to a precise transient sound. This sound creates more uh, effect with less energy the more it is encountered, overcoming issues of habituation to sound. The sound itself must rise to its peak within 12 milliseconds to create the effect, and the speed and intensity is relative to the magnitude of the response. John Ace Hopkins, the first CEO of Ace Aquatech, first explored the idea that this could offer a good tool for deterrent manufacturers back in 1995 with Gavin Hayward at the Management of Seal Predation Scottish Aquaculture Conference. This work was carried forward in 2001 to 2004 when he created the first generation of triggered deterrents. So why does this startle approach make for a better deterrent? Firstly, Unlike conventional deterrents, we don't want to make a noise all the time. We aren't interested in the traditional wall of sound to keep seals out. It creates excessive noise, leads to habituation, and could potentially deafen seals over time. 
But the ASR approach relies on a flight response caused by an unexpected noise, very precisely defined, delivered to the predator at the moment it is predating. This creates a learned avoidance behavior at the point of predation on the farm pen. But we haven't stopped there. The same principles apply to the electric startle response. What if a seal swims with its head above the water and decides to leap over the walkway into the cage with the fish? We've developed three systems for the different sections of the enclosure, an e-fence for the surface, an e-net for the sides, and an e-fish for the bottom. An encounter with any one of these systems will elicit a flight response in the seal. And when paired with a sound, this reinforces the learning event, creating a conditioned avoidance to the fish farm nets. Similarly, on the acoustic startle systems, we've developed software to play precisely those sounds that can elicit the flight response. But we've also engineered transducers that can target the sensitive hearing ranges of seals, but which lie outside the sensitive hearing range of porpoises and dolphins. The ESR devices are in green, a surface e-fence and a dummy e-fish which sits on the mort sock at the bottom of the nets. In blue are the surface controls for a mid-frequency and low-frequency ASR device. And in the top right, the latest addition, the AI detection trigger for automated monitoring of wildlife and triggering of the deterrence. All systems are connected to a central ACE portal, allowing full control, remote updates, customer monitoring, and policing of settings by regulators. This is the first full predator management suite for fish farms. The camera is a combined thermal camera and a 2D camera with a zoom up to 14 kilometers with night vision and 360 degree tracker with gyro stabilizer. It's critical to ensure conditioned learning and sensitization to the sounds. So the benefits to the farmers are clear. This provides protection above and below water against seal attacks. But what about the environment? Well, by necessity, an ASR approach has the lowest environmental impact because of how it works. It must play sound minimally to create a flight response, and therefore the duty cycle, on versus off, is necessarily extremely low. And as a result, injury to animals is avoided. The system has low average energy due to the mechanisms of deterring being behavioral and not pain-based. So there's no risk of disturbing wildlife. And the frequency can be aligned to the target hearing of seals. So together with good nets, this provides the best protection to wildlife and seals and to farmers against predatory behaviors. This effective deterrent system will restore the natural balance of the ecosystem by ensuring that this fantastic apex predator is predating on wild fish and not farm fish. It will do so without compromising the hearing of seals or disturbing or injuring non-target wildlife, and it will protect fish from direct strikes as well as stressful persistent behaviors, saving farmers millions in lost revenue and damage to the environment in the process. Thank you for listening to our solution.